Hi folks, welcome to another Fusion Friday. Let's go over sketching with sketch patterns using the revolve command to create this part for our lathe. Then we're going to use it for the fourth axis video next week. And then finally, probably the best thing, offset planes so we can create some flats along our part. Welcome to another Fusion Friday, folks. First thing we always do, save our file, right click, new component. I'm going to hit L for line. We're going to sketch on this plane right here. What I like to do is sketch out one dimensioned line, so 0.5. That gives me kind of the right scale of what we're looking at here. I'll zoom in now and I'll sketch the profile of this turned part. So down, I'm not actually going to dimension it yet because I've already got the scale which will give me enough so that I'm pretty close at least proportionally, if that makes sense. Hit D for dimension on your keyboard. Now, don't click on the green dot, click on the blue line. The green dot is the center point, it's very helpful, but we wanna click on the blue line and I'll dimension this as point two. One, one, seven, five, our lines are blue, we want them black. That means they're fully constrained. So I'll take a look, if I drag around, why can I move or what can I move? Aha, there you go. So see how it's not aligned vertically? So I'll click the horizontal vertical, sketch constraint, and that went, made that line vertical. The only last thing that's not dimension is this, and you can see, sure enough, I can move it in and out. I want it to be the same dimension as this line here, so I'll click collinear right here. Click this line and that line. Oops, there we go. Now you can see everything is perfectly, uh, everything is black. We can go to create, revolve. I'll choose this profile and then it, you have to click select here for the axis and I'm gonna revolve it around this axis. And there we've got our rough shape, click OK. I want to add some grooves in this body right here, and I'm going to do that by actually editing our original sketch. I right click, I can do edit sketch, R for rectangle, and just drag a rectangle anywhere around here. Now I'll start dimensioning it. Point, point 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20
R for rectangle, sketch on that plane, dimension it as you see fit. I'll say, uh, let's just say we want to leave 0.15 from each end. I'll link this formula by clicking on the 0.15 scale goes to D17. It's formulaically linked, so if I change this to 0.25, both sides collapse in. Go 18.75, Q for press pull, click on that plane, and we can now say negative 0.1, and we get our flat. I'll do the same thing to put some side flats on this uh, surface. Construct tangent plane. I'll click here and here. Click OK. R for rectangle. Um, and you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, um, we could do it this way, where we would construct a sketch here and hit Q for press pull and go negative 0.1. That's totally fine. The other thing you could do would be just to sketch a rectangle on that front facing plane. Either one works. I can now mirror this. Create. Mirror. This is confusing. You want to mirror the feature. So I click pattern feature here. I'll choose the feature down here and I'll pick the mirror plane as this axis. Click OK and boom. That's it folks. Hope you enjoyed today's Fusion Friday. We publish a video every Friday on a Fusion 360 CAD or CAM tutorial. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, click subscribe. Otherwise, again, see you next Friday.